quick little rundown of the electrical. We have uh, our DC runs and our AC runs run into the junction box under the trailer. They'll come up into the tongue box and I put in this split tubing and I have two circuits run up to uh, what the first circuit splits off goes in and it will uh, tie into two uh, reading lights or bed lights and a uh, either a U U USB outlet port and uh, maybe a voltmeter then it runs on up with the other circuit and the tube continues to the top here where those wires come out into the into the fan area for makeup and then I have a uh, overhead uh, kind of a puck light The overhead light comes out into the fan area. And then down on the wall, I ran the power to the switch into the fan area. And then it comes out for the uh, side lights. And over to the other side there. And the switch I have covered up right now, it's kind of recessed into the side there. Now what we're going to do is hopefully without too many problems, spray the expanded foam in the channel. And I'll bring you back when we're ready for that. Okay, we're starting with the expandable foam application. This is pretty old, I don't know how well it's going to work. There, it's starting to do its job. Okay, this is where we left off yesterday. My uh, two cans of expandable foam bought in, say, 2015. Uh, didn't work out so well. Who knew they have a shelf life? FYI, uh, don't buy your expendable materials years ahead of time. Okay, I'm going to continue with this with a new can of foam and see how this works out.
getting it to stick on these vertical surfaces is a challenge. Spatula does for me. Okay, we're up top.
That looks like one can was just about right. Hopefully that expands out. Okay, well that uh, foam is expanding. We'll uh, work a little more on this fender issue. This is uh, the third edition of trying to get fenders that fit without cutting, welding, what have you. So we'll see how these work out. Alright, we have uh, we have clearance on the tire. I don't think we'd ever get to the point where where the height from the ground would be an issue but I'm I'm not sure I've never done this before so if anyone out there would give me a shout out in the comments and tell me what they think whether the fenders need to be cut off with the almost flush with the frame or whether these are okay the way they are I'm not going to do any mounting until until uh, I might do the mounting holes and everything it wouldn't matter they could be cut down later but it looks like this is going to be the mounting height with uh, two quarter inches in the frame with uh, three quarter inch standoffs and then probably well, I'd say one on each side two on the top or I might go two on the sides and three on the top. I don't, I'm not sure. If anybody has any ideas on that, they can uh, comment down below. Well, that's about it for the fenders at this time.